Welcome to Quick Rip. Big B here with you. Hope you're doing well out there, fight fans. We're talking, as usual, some BKFC because we had President David Feldman actually appear on uh, the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani uh, earlier today. And uh, Feldman dropped some big fucking news, mainly to do with BKFC 41. Now, uh, it has been determined BKFC 41 is going to go down April 29th. It's going to come to us live from Denver, Colorado. And this isn't a regular fucking card. This thing is getting more and more stacked by the day. And uh, it's just looking incredible. Let's get to the news here because we have, first of all, let's get to this. Main event at BKFC 41 has been announced. We've got... The debut, Luke Rockhold will face Mike Perry in the main event of the evening. Now, Rockwell will make his bare-knuckle debut against the dangerous Perry, and the bout is expected to be at 185 pounds. Now, Rockhold currently sits at 16 wins or 6 losses as a pro mixed martial artist. The Californian native is coming off an exciting scrap where he dropped a decision to Paulo Costa, that was back in August, and uh, if there's one thing that Rockhold showed through that throughout that scrap uh, was that he does still have heart. He's still got heart. He's still got grit. Uh, he's still got that fighter's mentality. There was no fucking quit in him, which I think will come across very well in, uh, in bare-knuckle boxing. Now, after the bout against Paulo Costa, it appeared that Rockhold uh, was retiring from combat sports. But you know what, folks? It just sounds like the money uh, for this bare knuckle, the, the kind of contract that Rockhold uh, got out of this was basically he's still a free agent. He's still a free agent, but he's getting a bag of money uh, to go out there and fight Perry. So uh, it sounded like the, uh, the offer was, as I say, just too good to pass up. Now, Perry, on the other hand, has two fights already under the BKFC banner. Uh, we last saw him in action uh, this past summer, uh, summer of 2022. That was the super fight, so to speak, uh, against MVP. Now, he did get the win, decision win over MVP, and that put Perry to 2-0 bare knuckle. Mike Perry versus Luke Rockhold. Uh, this was pretty much the last fucking matchup I ever imagined. Um, you know, I, I know Rockhold actually obviously had options, uh, being a free agent, but, uh, bare knuckle is the last place I, th I th expected him to go, especially right off the bat. You're facing a killer in Mike Perry. Um, these are two guys that don't quit. I, I foresee a lot of blood, uh, a lot of sweat and, and possibly even some tears by one of them, because this is going to be a hard fought, hard fought, 185 pound main event. BKFC 41, uh, I'm just thinking it all in right now. Uh, you know, obviously I'm going to watch some tape as we get closer and I will do a, a deep dive on this main event. It's it's too good to pass up to, for that. So BKFC 41, main event, Mike Perry, Luke Rockhold. Who are you taking in this one? How do you think uh, Rockhold's going to look in his bare knuckle debut? Uh, when I first heard it, this was... A couple of hours ago now, so I've had a couple of hours to to let it sink in. When I first heard it, I didn't didn't like it at all. Uh, but then I can't help but think of his last performance uh, against Paulo Costa, uh, where it well, maybe maybe he will do okay. But Mike Perry, ah, <laughs> I don't know, folks. This one's gonna be fucking interesting. Who do you got in this one? How do you think Rockhold's going to look out there? Let me know down in the comments. While you're there, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Now, as if that wasn't big enough news, uh, Feldman also announced the co-main event going down at BKFC 41. We're going to see the bare-knuckle debut of Eddie Alvarez, finally. Now, Eddie Alvarez, there was uh, rumblings for weeks, months now, um, rumors that this is probably where he's going to end up. I did a video a while about a while back uh, when it, it was still up in the air because I know uh, Feldman had mentioned that they were in talks and everything was looking good. So looks like they got it figured out. Eddie Alvarez, 
He's going to make his debut, and he's set to face the always dangerous Chad Mendez. This is going down in Denver, co-main event, BKFC 41. The two former MMA stars are going to toe the line at 165 pounds. Of course, Eddie Alvarez is known for his stellar MMA career. I mean, he's, he's got a record of 30 wins with only eight losses. The underground king has a long, impressive resume that includes fighting promotion for promotions like Bellator, UFC, and of course, 1FC. Alvarez last saw action in April of 2021, where he dropped a decision to Ray Yoon Oak. Uh, I believe that's how it's said. Pardon me if I butcher your name there. <laughs> now, the 39-year-old Alvarez has fought the who's who's of MMA stardom. I mean, you think about it, from Poirier to McGregor, uh, RDA, Gaethje, Eddie has a lifetime of combat sports experience, and we're going to see how that shines through bare knuckle here. Uh, I, for one, am absolutely fucking pumped. I mean, uh, when, when, when talks first came out, rumors first came out that, that Alvarez might be going to bare knuckle, um, I was a little skeptical of just the deal getting done, right? But now that the deal's done, and uh, he's set for his debut. This is going to be absolutely fucking wild. Um, I just want to see what he has to offer Sans Gloves. Standing across from Eddie Alvarez on April 29th is going to be Chad Money Mendez. Now, Mendez has one bare knuckle fight under his belt already as he beat Joshua Alvarez via TKO. Uh, in his debut at Knucklemania 2, and that was back in February of 2022. Now, much like his upcoming opponent, Mendez has fought some of the world's best MMA fighters on the world's biggest stages. Bright lights, big cities, is nothing new for these two. This is going to be absolutely incredible, and I cannot wait to see these two toe the line. Now, that was the big announcements. Also announced from Feldman, we got Christine Ferreira. She will face Beck Rawlings in a featured bout at BKFC 41. Now, the two ladies are going to toe the line at 125 pounds. The belt is up for grabs, and this one's going to be absolute fire. A couple other little announcements here to do with BKFC 41. Uh, ben Rothwell will be on the card, but his opponent has yet to be announced. Uh, expect that announcement, uh, I would guess, probably in the next week, two weeks the most. Sounds like it's very close to being announced. I'm interested to see who, uh, who Rothwell is going to be matched up against here and uh, see maybe if we can see Rothwell for maybe more than three seconds. As awesome as his debut was... We didn't really get to see much, right? I mean, it was uh, it was over before it started, which, like I say, was awesome. But uh, at the same time, I, I kind of want to see at least a minute or two of action from Big Ben. <laughs> we'll see who, see who he's matched up against, but uh, it looks like he is going to be on the card. And uh, the other thing that has been announced is BKFC 41 is going to be a pay-per-view. Uh, sounds like forty nine ninety nine, so 50 bucks. I mean, just from the card so far, we got Mike Perry versus Luke Rockhold, Eddie Alvarez versus Chad Mendez, Christine Ferreira, Beck Rawlings, and then, of course, uh, Ben Rothwell is going to be facing off against somebody. And there's still a lot of time and a lot of uh, room to fill that card in, too. So who knows what else we're going to get. For 50 bucks, folks, this seems like... Uh, I mean, when you get this many fucking stars on one card, you kind of have to expect uh, a pay-per-view. And that's basically what Feldman said. He's just, in order to, to afford everybody, they had to go the pay-per-view route on this one. Hopefully they do good. Hopefully everybody's happy with, with the money. I, for one, you know what, 50 bucks. When it comes down to it, it is a lot of money. But for an evening of entertainment, it's it's really not so bad when you think about it. Anyway, that's the announcements for BKFC 41, April 29th, Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. 
Oh, it's going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait. Thanks for joining me here on Quick Rip. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay up to date. Everything BKFC. Uh, it's BKFC is just doing amazing things here. Uh, it's going to be an incredible year, and uh, I can't wait to to continue following them and uh, doing what I can to to help them grow. Anyway, till next time, everybody, take care and peace. <laughs>